I've been building wheels ever since 1938. And there isn't hardly a wheel that I haven't built, from Rolls Royce to airplanes. And I've even got to design some airplane wheels for a particular pilot. It's a German uh, 1918 Fokker plane that is being restored. As you can see, this wheel wants rebuilding because it's absolutely naff. How I started it was because it looked like being a war and all the mechanics got caught up. And there was a, lucky enough, there was a cycle company in, in Portsmouth called Wheel Cycle Company and he taught me how to build wheels and, and showed me and told me what made a wheel tick. The average person would know there was 21,000 bikes in the dockyard. So I was very, very busy. I used to study stresses and strains of wheels. And even up to recently, I was doing all Hampshire Police. And of course, things have changed now because they haven't got the spoke wheels. But I feel sure if they had a problem, I, they would contact me. The Royal Marines Motorcycle Display Team came in and said to me, could you build me a jump wheel? I said, yes. Even in Edinburgh, they used to ring me up and say, Ray, you know, we've got a problem with this wheel. Can we use an alloy wheel? And I used to say, no. Otherwise, it would kill the, the Marine or somebody. If you over tighten and a spoke goes, it could jam the wheel on the side of the frame and that could act as a brake and that could kill him. To be honest with you, a wheel is a life. Here you are. And that should be perfect. In the workshop now, I've got some 1936 very old uh, vintage motor, motor cars wheels. They've got to have new rims made. I will get them made, but unfortunately it's a lot of money for the customer. Every wheel that goes out of here is guaranteed to pass MOT. One particular instance, a, a man rang me up and he said, um, whereabouts are you? And I said, where are you? He said, Hong Kong. He said, I've got five Jakes 1962 models to be restored. Oh, he said, I'll, I'll work for Canadian Pacific and I'll bring one at a time and I'll bring them into Gatwick. And I had to give him a billet every time to say these wheels were reconditioned because otherwise you wouldn't get them back in the other country. They thought they were new. I met a lot of people, professional people and really good. And even some of the lads with long hair, it looks like gits. They are perfect. And it's been great. I've got more out of it than I've given. He's very proud of what he does. And it's nice to think that he is able to continue working as he's, you know, he's 83 now, and to continue working and to keep the crafts of wheel building, which is a dying art, keeps him occupied and it makes him happy. It can be a nuisance, because um, you're always on hand to make the cup of tea when the bell rings. I'm quite happy to help him in whatever way I can to keep the wheels rolling. <laughs> Well, I've been, very, I've been very lucky. I had a wife for a long time and then she died, unfortunately. But I've been a very lucky man and I've met another lady that's married me. And she's, well, she's as good as the first one, if not a little bit better. Couldn't, I couldn't do without her, really, to be quite frank about it. And she will sit down here sometimes and unbuild a wheel. I'll, she'll unbuild it. If said, I'll unbuild that one for you. That's what she does. And then, she, and then I'll tell her that's an inside spoke. No, it's not. I'll, and so we have a little pay wheel, which is an inside and an outside. But, she, but then I said, no, leave it alone, I'll do it. When I was born, I was born with brittle bones. And I must point out that I had no education at all. I never went to school. And they wouldn't let me go to school. My brother went there. But I'd just as you sit, sit and run up and down the road and pull myself up and down with, with an amp about chair. And as I say, the war came, I suppose really it done me a good turn because I don't think I would have been like I am today if it hadn't been. It, it probably made me really because there wasn't the people around to do what I can do today. And I've had 52 fractures in my legs before I was the age of 12. But you persevere. I don't want no medals. I, I think that I, I would like to think that other disabled, that I disabled, if you try hard enough, you'll get there. And that's what I've done. But if I don't do it, a lot of people are not going to get a decent wheel built. I wouldn't say people can't do it. The wheel will go on without me. I'm quite aware of that. All the time my arms are strong enough, I would do it. Here we are. That's that done.